what's up guys this is Fona here with a little tutorial now I haven't had a tutorial in quite a long time just to point that out um, but this one's going to be a slight advanced one um, uh, it's going to be a tutorial on adding joints um, just in case you've missed it out so if I just take this off so this is pretty much unrigged I've got the skeleton and um, actually you know what I'm going to do as you can see here, we've got a joint in the middle of the arm, uh, which could be used for the forearm. Uh, oh, here it is. I'll show you. Okay, so this is the elbow movement, and this is where you can just like twist the forearm slightly round, um, just so you don't have to twist the hand full way around and then it looks all shitty. What you can do is you can turn the hand a little bit and then the forearm a little bit. That way, the, it's all balanced out and it looks all realistic and that. But what I'm going to show you is how to add joints in. So I want to add this joint back in. I'm just going to delete it just to show you. So we're going to make both arms exactly like this with no joint in the middle. And to do that, basically, what you just want to do is you want to delete the joint itself. But what you want to do is first, you want to select the wrist because that's the next one. It's the elbow, oh, sorry, elbow, forearm, and wrist. Elbow, forearm, wrist. And because you don't want the forearm, if you see down here, they're all sort of linked to each other. So, what you need to do is you need to put drag the wrist into the elbow, and then just delete the forearm, and then that way the elbow and the wrist are sort of connected because they're still following down from each other. It's, I don't know how to put it in easier words, but this is as best as I can do. Um, if not, just copy exactly what I'm doing. If you really don't have a clue what I'm talking about, but okay, so. We have now, sorry, OCD thing, not having that. Fuck that, that leg's not straight. There we go. Boom. Um, now, this is a problem. Sorry if I just sort this out because I have actually set a keyframe on all my bones, so it's just snapped back. So if I just put this into sort of a position, we're not doing fingers this. Um, this tutorial would I'll do another rigging fingers tutorial soon. So yeah. Oh, that's all pretty much in place now. What we need to do is we want to add it. Well, what we want to do is we want to add a joint in. So the only way that I know how to do this is a similar method to how I deleted it. What I do is I copy and paste, say the elbow, cop control C, control V. And what it does is that it just creates a whole separate bones and everything that I've selected or if I've selected the elbow, everything below it, which is all this, will be copied as well because they're all linked. So because we only want that just one little joint, what we need to do is we just need to delete everything else in it. So we're just left with one little joint, which is nothing. It's basically useless. Um, then what we want to do is we want to drag that into the elbow because we, it goes elbow, forearm, wrist. Uh, let me just show you. If I open up that up now, it just goes elbow, wrist. So it needs to be in between. But most people would probably think, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to slide it in here, in between the el elbow and the wrist. But if you do that, it the, the wrist will not be following following on from your new joint. So what you want to do is you want to drag that into the elbow. Well, no, this, um, you might want to rename that first, actually. This is going to be confusing. So this is going to be forearm. There we go. So if I just do that again. Oh, anyway. That will be dragged into the elbow, just like I did there. And then the wrist will be dragged into the forearm. That way they're still all linked. And then what you can... Well, because we copied the elbow, the joint is still at the elbow. So... There's no point in just going to the forearm and start moving that around because that's not going to do anything. Um, I've completely fucked this up now. There we go, I'll just do that again. Actually, no, it'll be good actually. I'll do it again just to show you. So, in between the elbow and the wrist, elbow and the wrist, but we will select the elbow, copy, paste, delete everything below it, rename it, left forearm, just so you know where it is. And the forearm goes in between the elbow and the wrist. And elbow and the wrist is here, so you drag it onto the elbow first, and then drag the wrist onto the forearm. 
and then what I'm just going to do is I'm going to select all of these and hit keyframe down because or if I don't then it's going to go all fucked up and snap back into the previous keyframe uh, but you probably won't have to do that so now we've got this all linked in our, our joint is there but it's just in the same position as the elbow so we can't see it so if you click on the left forearm which you just created go to character joint tool if I'm correct in doing this check off root null and you should just be able to hover your mouse over the elbow area you should just be able to pull it but I grabbed the wrong one there nope wrong one forearm oh I can't do this well anyway there we go I got it let's put that one back into the elbow and then just drag that into sort of in between the elbow and the wrist so it is a bit confusing if you do not know how to rig or you're not familiar with the program so I wouldn't suggest doing this straight away but it's, it is something useful to know just in case you come across any problems when rigging you're like oh shit I needed a forearm or something like that or fingers but I just done the forearm because it's a lot easier for you guys to understand so I'm just going to do it the second time now on the other hand so remember step number one shoulder elbow wrist in between the elbow and the wrist there should be a forearm so we're going to select the elbow copy and paste delete everything below it it's just going to be an empty joint drag that into the right elbow and drag the wrist into the elbow but remember to rename it forearm and I think uh, oops forearm there we go um, and then go to character sorry no 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 you will go to character just don't do what I'm doing now I just had to hit a keyframe down otherwise it will snap back and fuck up um, then you go into the character joint tool and you will bring oops um, how do we do this now okay well, if you even if you do select the elbow, because this is the elbow, and you'll see why if I just leave that there, you may have to move the elbow joint in order to get to the forearm joint. But once, you, if if you have to, you can always always put it back into place. So then, drag the forearm into sort of like the middle area and put the elbow joint back into the elbow. So then, what we have got now is elbow, forearm, and wrist. But I'm just gonna have to fix this slightly because it's not right. Just do it roughly. There we go. So now the bones are in, and each arm has a forearm. And say like, say I wanted to move the forearm, it will move everything else with it because you've dragged it in, sort of like parenting with each other. So I hope this did help, guys. This was a really confusing um, tutorial for me to do. Actually, this is why um, I haven't brought this one out just yet. Otherwise, I would have ages ago. But it's just I didn't realise how to sort of put it into words. But I tried it anyway because it may get through to some people it may not but hopefully it did if not then send me a um, message or anything I'll try and help um, rigging fingers is another tutorial coming and I am also doing um, a MMA animation which I'll just quickly give you a little pre not preview but just a little mindset of what's coming a little teaser if you that's what you want to call it but Open up the effects of after. Come on. So yeah, that's the um the tutorial done for adding joints to skeletons. Um so if I just open up the MMA or UFC animation. Um, this has taken me quite a long time actually now because I've now just reached the fight scene. So something a bit different, not COD, not driving. It's uh, fighting animation. So uh, got my intro. Then it's got the sort of like the titles. I don't know if you've ever played UFC before um, on the Xbox or PS3 or whatever. Um, but it's sort of the same, similar animations, just a little bit different. And then it's just going through just the animation. having the the guys come in the fighters come into the ring into the octagon and the referees obviously now just starting it it's actually the agent 45 uh, 47 model from um, hitman but 
it was white, but I turned the the t-shirt black and it sort of looked like a referee. So I thought, why not? You know, I'm not going to struggle finding another character. Hitman will be good for a referee. At least he knows that how to like you know how to kill some people and tear some shit up in there. You know. So yeah, still coming along, but that's about 52 seconds now. But I do not know when it's going to be finished, so um, I can't tell you that just yet. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Share it around, and I'll see you in the next video when it's out. Then peace.